Hello. This video shows you how to create a server running MySQL on Alibaba Cloud, to which you can then migrate existing databases. To get started, you'll need an Alibaba Cloud account. If you don't already have one, head to www.alibabacloud.com and sign up. You will also need to have created a virtual private cloud, or VPC, and an accompanying virtual switch, or vSwitch. To start, log in to your Alibaba Cloud console and, from the Products menu, choose Elastic Compute Service. Then click on the Buy Now or Create Instance button. Start by choosing a billing method. For short-term evaluations and experiments, pay-as-you-go is simple and cost-effective. For this video, we'll choose a monthly subscription. Next, choose a hosting region. Select the region where your existing VPC is located, otherwise you won't be able to see it. Next, we choose an instance type. For a database server, we recommend that you choose from the general purpose or memory optimized range. We will choose a general purpose server with two CPUs and eight gigabytes of RAM. Next, we need to choose an image for the server. You can choose a basic operating system and install MySQL yourself but searching the marketplace reveals a Linux MySQL image that's already configured at no extra cost, so we'll use that. Depending on the amount of data you want to migrate, you can add up to 16 data disks to your instance. Next, we need to configure networking. Assign your new database server to a VPC or virtual private cloud and associated virtual switch. Next, check and configure the security group settings. The default settings will allow you to log into the server via the Alibaba Cloud console in order to configure it. You will need to adjust them according to your needs once you know how you and your applications will be communicating with the database server. Next, under System Configurations, set the Linux root password for your server and give it a name. Then, click on Create Order. Now return to the console. Click on Elastic Compute Service, click on Instances on the left-hand side of the screen, and you should see your server listed. We can connect to our server's command line via a browser, direct from the Alibaba Cloud console. On the right-hand side of the panel that shows your server's details, click on the Connect link. Make a careful note of the VNC password that is displayed, as you'll only see it once. Click the Close button, then enter the VNC password. Click OK, and you are now connected via a terminal to your server. Log in with a username of root and the password you set earlier. With the server and its installation of MySQL now up and running, you might want to log in to MySQL via the command line to set some initial options and create one or more users. To do this, log into the server as shown above and use the Vim editor to edit forward slash etc forward slash my dot cnf file. In the mysqld section of the file, add the line skip dash grant dash tables. Restart the server instance. Log into the server and type the command prompt mysql -u root -p. Enter the root password when prompted. You should now be at a mysql command prompt. From the mysql command prompt, type flush privileges. Set a new password for the mysql root user by typing this command. We'll set the password to password123. Type Alter user, apostrophe, root, apostrophe, ampersand, apostrophe, local host, apostrophe. Identified by, apostrophe, password123, apostrophe, semicolon. For security, go back to forward slash etc forward slash my dot cnf 
and remove the skip-grant-tables line. Then restart the server once more. You will now be able to log into MySQL as root with the password you chose in order to create additional users. Your server is now up and running, ready to import your data. There are various ways that you can do this, such as via the MySQL dump command or by installing a MySQL client on a workstation. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. For more information, go to www.alibabacloud.com. Thank you.